In the late 1970s, the French Air Force and French Navy were seeking to replace and consolidate their existing fleets of aircraft. In order to reduce development costs and boost prospective sales, France entered into an arrangement with the UK, Germany, Italy and Spain to produce an agile multi-purpose future European fighter aircraft. Subsequent disagreements over workshare and differing requirements led to France's pursuit of its own development program. The Dassault Rafale literally meaning gust of wind, or burst of fire is a French twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafale is referred to as an Omnirol 4.5th generation aircraft by Dassault. Many of the aircraft's avionics and features, such as direct voice input, the RBE-2A active electronically scanned array radar and the Optronique Secteur frontal infrared search and track sensor were domestically developed and produced for the Rafale program. Originally scheduled to enter service in 1996, the Rafale suffered significant delays due to post-Cold War budget cuts and changes in priorities. There are three main variants, Rafale C single-seat land-based version, Rafale B twin-seat land-based version, and Rafale M single-seat carrier-based version. Introduced in 2001, the Rafale is being produced for both the French Air Force and for carrier-based operations in the French Navy. From HRRE, testing, the Rafale was developed as a modern jet fighter with a very high level of agility. Dassault chose to combine a delta wing with active close-coupled canard to maximize maneuverability. The aircraft is capable of withstanding from 3.6 Gs to 9 Gs. The Rafale is an aerodynamically unstable aircraft and uses digital fly-by-wire flight controls to artificially enforce and maintain stability. 70% of the Rafale's surface area is composite. Many of the features designed to reduce the Rafale's visibility to threats remain classified. Cockpit the Rafale's glass cockpit was designed around the principle of data fusion. A central computer selects and prioritizes information to display to pilots for simpler command and control. The cockpit features a wide-angle holographic head-up display system, two head-down flat panel color multi-function displays as well as a central collimated display. These displays have been strategically placed to minimize pilot distraction from the external environment. The seat is inclined rearwards at an angle of 29 degrees to improve G-force tolerance during maneuver and to provide a less restricted external pilot view. Developed by Cruzit, the D5-1 is capable of managing radio communications and countermeasure systems, the selection of armament and radar modes, and controlling navigational functions. The Rafale features an integrated defensive aid system named Spectra, which protects the aircraft against airborne and ground threats, developed as a joint venture between Thales and MBDA. Various methods of detection, jamming, and decoying have been incorporated, and the system has been designed to be highly reprogrammable for addressing new threats and incorporating additional subsystems in the future. The Rafale's ground attack capability is heavily reliant upon sensory targeting pods, such as Thales Optronics's Rico New Generation, Aereo's Reconnaissance Pod and Damocles Electro-Optical Laser Designation Pod. Together, these systems provide targeting information, enable tactical reconnaissance missions, and are integrated with the Rafale's IMA architecture to provide analyzed data feeds to friendly units and ground stations, as well as to the pilot. The Damocles designation pod was described as lacking competitiveness when compared to rivals such as the Sniper and LITENING pods, so work began on an upgraded pod, designated Damocles XF, with additional sensors and added ability to transmit live video feeds. <laughs> Radars The Rafale was first outfitted with the Thales RBE-2 passive electronically scanned multi-mode radar. Thales claims to have achieved increased levels of situational awareness as compared to earlier aircraft through the earlier detection and tracking of multiple air targets for close combat and long-range interception, as well as real-time generation of three-dimensional maps for terrain following and the real-time generation of high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. The Front Sector Electro-Optical System or Optronique Sector Frontal, developed by Thales, is completely integrated within the aircraft and can operate both in the visible and infrared wavelengths. Dassault describes the OSF as being immune to jamming and capable of providing covert long-range surveillance. Armaments It features a 30 meters MGIAT 30M791 autocannon with 125 rounds, and 14 external hardpoints for Air and Space Force versions, 13 for Navy version with a capacity of 9,500 kg external fuel and ordnance. It also has MBDA Mica EM and IR, MBDA Meteor, and Magic 2 air to air missiles. MBDA Apache, MBDA Storm Shadow, ASM Hammer, GBU 12 Paveway 2, GBU 16 Paveway 2, GBU 22 Paveway 3, GBU 24 Paveway 3, GBU 49 Enhanced Paveway 2, S 30 AL, Mark 82, and MBDA M 39 Exhausted Air Launched Anti Ship Missile are all its air to surface missiles. 
It can also carry ASMP nuclear missiles. The engines feature several advances, including a non-polluting combustion chamber, single crystal turbine blades, powder metallurgy discs, and technology to reduce radar and infrared signatures. The M88 enables the Rafale to supercruise while carrying four missiles and one drop tank. As of 2007, a thrust vectoring variant of the engine designated as M88 3D was also under development. That's all for today. See you in another video.